The youngest piece in my fossil collection comes from Auckland. It's preserved resin from a kauri tree, very similar to amber. Back in Victorian times, it was Auckland's largest export, with over 5,000 tons being shipped off every year. Let's jump back in time a bit more. Here's another plant fossil, and it should be easy to see which piece of the plant it is. It once belonged to a tree that grew at the edge of an expansive lake which has since dried up. The deep waters of that lake were poor in oxygen, so after this leaf fell into them, it was preserved in a bed of fine mud particles before it could decompose fully. The same rocks yield a wide variety of other plant fossils, and occasionally even a crayfish or two. Further back in New Zealand's history, the fossil record is dominated by ocean dwellers. At this time, most or all of the country was underwater, and huge tracts of limestone were being deposited. Today, we find shark teeth of all sizes from that period, and they are still sharp. Alongside the sharks swam early whales and dolphins. One of them left this piece of rib behind. It's identifiable as bone because of the pores on its surface, its spongy internal texture, and the dark brown colour of weathered hydroxyapatite, the mineral that gives bone its strength. Here's another piece of whale bone, possibly from the jaw. It comes from the same time period as the previous one, but was found in a quarry a few kilometres away. From most angles you can make out this characteristic spongy texture. The skeleton it came from was chopped up by quarry machinery, which is the only reason I'm allowed to keep it. Here we have a block filled with cone-shaped seashells. These are interesting because they come from a time just a few million years after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Therefore, they come from a world that was recovering from one of the greatest catastrophes in the planet's history. Fossils like these might reveal how ecosystems can endure radical changes in the environment. Next we have a small chunk of petrified wood from the deep south of New Zealand. It's thought to be a similar age to the logs at Curio Bay, which are up to 40 metres long and perfectly preserved in volcanic ash. Even in this small sample, the texture is so fine and detailed, you could be forgiven for thinking it was still wood. Finally, we have the oldest of my fossil highlights. This is Alan, and you may have seen him before in one of my other videos. He was recovered from Morocco by a French paleontologist, whose son then passed him on to me as a gift. I've given this fossil plenty of attention, because he is invaluable as a teaching tool. Alan lived in the Devonian period, crawling along an alien sea floor, gazing through eyes made of calcite. The perspective he had provides incredible insights into how life developed and thrived in that age. Those were highlights from my fossil collection. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button so you can see more. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.